got a bit of a cold. Uh, and as I came in, uh, two very kind people in the front row offered me uh, medical advice. And I did think to myself, I hope this isn't the way of things in the future. Uh, and I thought it would not be the obvious reason. I would worked in the United States at one point, and um, there are genuinely people who I worked with who were getting medical advice from their friends or from pharmacists, but they couldn't afford to go to doctors. Now that's not something that we're going to have here. Um, the NHS saved my life three times before I was five years old. If I'd been born 30 years earlier, before the NHS existed, I wouldn't be here now. Every time I take a puff on this inhaler, I'm aware of the vital importance of our National Health Service. Now, I sit uh, on the, I'm, I'm the leader of the opposition, the Labour Opposition Council. Uh, I sit on the health panel with uh, Rory Vaughan, uh, uh, um, who's our uh, lead on, on health. And I can tell you, we have interviewed every single decision maker responsible for the cuts in this borough. And we've done it in public in front of many people who are here tonight. And two things come out on top of all the other good points that have been made already. Is the first thing is this plan is only between three and seven years into the future. So the first chief executive who just left Imperial said it was seven years into the future. The one I was talking to, the new one who's just taken over, said it was three years. Uh, in a lot of their plans in three years. That's not a long-term plan. The second thing, if you sell off hospital land at a time when London is set to grow by two million, and though it's turned into luxury flats for overseas investors, once it's gone, it's gone, and we will never get it back. Now, I, I want to pay tribute to my Labour colleagues in Ealing and in Lewisham, because wherever they've been now, there's other parties as well, Almost certainly, it's very rarely that you get uh, 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 Conservatives uh, fighting too strongly at a council level, and certainly they're not doing that here in Hampstead and Fulham. I want to pay tribute to them because at every single point they work by your side, by your side, by your side, at every single point. And all I would say is that if we win control of the council on May the 22nd, I promise you this we will be by your side. We will invite you in, we will work with you, we will put resources into it, and we will be together in making sure that we have the best possible plan to save our hospitals. And I think if we have a good plan and strong hearts and we're bold and we're smart, then I think having a council on side with you could make a real difference to this hospital campaign. And that's what I pledge to do, should we win the council elections. Thank you very much.